All right, this is how you add a single staff for a soloist in Finale uh, in the context of a choir piece um, with piano or without piano, it doesn't matter. This is just for that single line um, or single melody that you want separate from the choir. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my main tool palette here and click on the staff tool. Now what I'm going to do next is go up to the top bar and click on staff and then select new blank staves and since I only want one I'm just gonna leave that as one and I'm not gonna touch the uh, top line to top line distance uh, option I just leave it as is now if you had any formatting before like in this piece I do since this is a completed piece just as, as an example um, it will mess up the formatting um, by adding another uh, staff in there or if you add multiple uh, staves it'll kind of mess it up and shift uh, just kind of like this so this is something finale automatically does and it's easy to fix um, but I recommend you know adding this before fully formatting your score now the next option we're going to our next thing we're going to do is uh, we notice that our new staff is at the bottom and we want this to be at the top uh, with the rest of the choir and uh, kind of grouped with the voices. Um, so I'm going to go back to the staff option and the top bar and go to reorder staves. Now it gives me all my groups and all my available staves here. Um, so our new one is staff seven. So I'll click on that, hit the up arrow and now it'll jump groups and I'm gonna put this at the very top. So now we have it here. So next thing is I'm going to name um, the staff and I'm going to do that by clicking edit full staff name and I'm just going to say solo and you can um, edit the abbreviated name I'm still going to write solo for that so that way it's continuous throughout the piece. Now, I don't want this staff to be there the whole time. It's just going to take up space, and I only want my solo um, in this section here, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight. Uh, I just hit Shift and click um, here. And then, again, this is all done with the staff tool selected. So just to recap, I'm going to hit the first bar. And then go I'm scrolling along my score go to where I want the staff to disappear for a bit shift click and then I'm gonna right click and this little drop-down menu will pop up and I'm going to choose to hide staff and collapse cutaway will still kind of keep the original formatting but collapse will kind of let everything resume back to where it was and the staff will disappear for the selection that you selected. So I'm going to click that. And just like that, that top line is now gone and things have sort of, woof, things have sort of gone back to normal. Um, again, my scrolling is kind of glitching finale out a little bit. Um, so now the solo line has come in. Um, I can, you know, enter my my line here and write write that passage and then when it's done I'm gonna do the same thing um, let's say the solo ends on at measure 68 for the rest of the piece I'm gonna click on the first bar and go all the way to the end shift click and once again go back to your uh, staff tool right click hide staff collapse again that eliminates a lot of your pages um, formatting will be a little weird at first but uh, things are returning back to normal and again when I scroll with the screen capture it kind of gets a little junky but that will reset Let's see just like that nothing to fear and again my original solo line is still intact um, and I can adjust formatting with the staff tool and 
try to get these both on the same page just for um, ease of use. But that's just the gist of it. Again, you'll, you'll have to play around with it. So that is adding a solo staff to your uh, choral piece.